All right, so you've learned the right and left hand parts for lines four and five of page four. And now you want to put the hands together. Let's work on that. Roughly speaking, in measure 45, the first measure of line four, the right hand is playing eighth notes while the left hand is playing sixteenths. And we know that two sixteenth notes fit into the same amount of time that an eighth note takes. So that's roughly what you're doing. So let's start with that chord that we are playing. It will have been continued a little bit from the measure before. Thumb on D flat, two finger G flat, and then probably four or five on the B flat above. So our left hand is starting its more melodic 16th notes there. The two finger on the A flat, two A's below middle C. So it sounds like this. Then we play our pinky going down to the E flat. Now we change to our next chord on the right hand, the A flat C F, while our three finger in the left hand goes to the A flat. We hold that right hand while the left hand plays its E flat with the thumb. Then we change the right hand to our G flat, B flat, E flat chord while the left hand's playing pinky on A flat. Hold that right hand while the left hand's playing three finger E flat. Then right hand moves down. We're playing our G flat, our D flat, G flat, B flat chord. While the right left hand plays thumb on A flat. Hold that. While the left hand plays the pinky on E flat. And then we hold those top two notes while our we let go of the D flat with our two finger and play the thumb on B flat instead and our left hand plays its three finger A flat. Sounds pretty close together, right? Now this part, it works better if you just let the pedal continue the B flat in the right hand, while your left hand thumb reaches up to play the E flat above middle C with the thumb. And then you can put your right hand thumb or two finger down on D flat while your left hand is going to play its three finger A flat. Hold that right hand while your left hand plays pinky on E flat. Then your right hand moves to its B flat, G flat, A flat chord. And your left hand plays its thumb on A flat. Then left hand goes down two flat, two finger E flat. Then right hand will play middle C with the two finger continuing to hold its D flat, A flat up top. And the left hand plays its pinky on A flat below. Hold the right hand while the left hand plays pinky, our thumb, on E flat above. And then right hand plays three finger E flat while continuing to hold the four and five finger up above. And the left hand plays two finger A flat and then pinky E flat below. So all together, here's what it sounds like. Um, let me get back to the starting point here. measure it does the same thing but just remember that in the left hand and it will in the last one two three four five six notes will only be a flat e flat a flat e flat a flat e flat so instead of going it just goes timing works out exactly the same. I'm going to play that. Let's see. Oops. And then... And our 
is measure 46. Now let's go to measure 47, the last line of the page. Um, it's a little more complicated, but not too bad. So right hand is playing pinky on the E flat, and then does it and so on. And our left hand is playing the G flat and the D flat. So here's how it sounds. We put this all together. We hold our left hand and the upper E flat for the right hand while our thumb play and other fingers play the E flat, G flat, B flat. Now here are, we keep holding the D flat with our left hand, but now we're going to let go of that G flat with the pinky left hand and play four finger A flat instead. And then our right hand is going to let go of the three finger B flat and play two finger G flat instead. Hold the left hand while the right hand plays its thumb E flat. Then while the right hand has its 16th rest, the left hand will play three finger B flat let go, and let go of the A flat. Hold both those notes in the left hand still while the right hand does its 16th notes again. E flat, G flat, B flat, and then here the left hand will let go of the B flat and will play the D flat now with four finger instead of two finger. And then the right hand will play two finger G flat instead of B flat. And then hold the left hand while the right hand plays its thumb E flat. And now here is where the right hand shifts. The four finger goes to that G flat above. Well, the left hand is going to play pinky on middle C and hold it technically. Hold the right hand, hold the left hand C, and then add, these are 16th notes for the left hand. Now we add three finger E flat, two finger G flat, thumb A flat, and then the right hand takes over the 16th note one. It's going to play the chord thumb on C above middle C and the pinky on the B flat above that. Hold the B flat while the, you let go of the C, C with your thumb and play two finger E flat. And then the last measure is exactly the same. 40, measure 48 is the exact repeat. So I'm gonna play what that one sounds like. Beautiful and melodic. All right, enjoy.